Good morning, afternoon or evening, ladies and gentlemen, all in crypto here and welcome back guys for another daily cryptocurrency market update. If you are new around here and finding yourself on this channel for the first time, do consider becoming a subscriber because we drop an update just like this one every single day at 1pm UK time to help you guys stay up to date with the latest and greatest things happening within the crypto space, but also the broader markets. And that is exactly what we're going to be doing in this video. Yesterday was a very turbulent day for the crypto space. We're going to be looking at the news flow that potentially caused this. And then we're going to be going over to the charts and taking a technical look at where this leaves us. And it's absolutely my opinion. This is very healthy. This is part of uh, a market where it is. And we're going to be showing you an altcoin that I essentially believe is um, giving us a great blueprint for what's to come for many of these altcoins. And the very interesting thing for me on the sell-off that occurred yesterday, of course, Bitcoin down 7% at one point, some of your altcoins down 20%. It actually, a lot of these altcoins broke out on volume and the, re the um, sell-off essentially caused a perfect retest from that sort of resistance that was broken that's now acting as support and you see a big wick coming in. So I think this is totally healthy. I think this is totally normal. And actually, I think it's great, certainly for those of you that are looking to still load up on your cryptocurrencies. But without further ado, guys, I don't want to ramble on for too much longer. Let's get into everything. And I thought a great place to start would be with Bloomberg's senior analyst on ETFs, Eric, who essentially has been, uh, I think, a very good person to follow in regards to everything that's happening with a Bitcoin ETF. A, a bit of an overview before I go into this, you would not have all of these institutions getting involved with Bitcoin spot ETFs. And we're going to look at the likes of Goldman Sachs, actually. We know JP Morgan are playing a role in the Bitcoin ETF, despite Jamie Dimon's comments. We know Goldman Sachs are doing the same things. You wouldn't have all that happening if it was if there was going to be no Bitcoin spot ETF allowed. Whether it happens in January or six months down the line, both scenarios are bullish for the overall industry, in my opinion. But let's start with Eric's uh, comments. This was his initial comment on the whole thing. People tagging me like crazy on this rejection report. We have heard nothing, nothing to indicate anything but approval. But I want to give the guy the benefit of the doubt. So I'm asking if he has any sources or if he's just speculating. He seems to be a Bitcoin bull and recently tweeted um, executive said approval likely. So unsure why he has flipped. Now, the other interesting thing, this came out of Matrix Port, and you can see here that Matrix Port earlier yesterday tweeted Bitcoin or, or uh, published a report saying Bitcoin at spot ETF approval imminent, Bitcoin to jump to 50K. On the same day, and this is where the price sold off because people were taking this as gospel essentially, uh, they posted saying why the SEC will reject Bitcoin spot ETFs again. And this essentially caused the sell off. However, technically, you were running into a lot of resistance for a lot of these altcoins. You know, Bitcoin's had a great day. It's kind of chilling out, potentially setting up for that um, a great time. You, you're going to have a chill out for it. So in my opinion, the news that was linked to the sell off, first of all, is not being verified. Um, and second of all, you know, it, it just doesn't make much sense, certainly when you look at what's going on with many other players. He then goes on to say, and to look at the fact that the SEC is holding meetings today, which was yesterday, with the exchanges to finalise comments on the 19B S4 submitted by the Bitcoin spot ETF issuers. His comments on this were, why would, you do, why would they be doing that if they were going to reject it? You know, which I think is very interesting. On top of that, this is from Nate uh, Garcia. Looks like Goldman Sachs could be authorized participants on BlackRock and Grayscale spot Bitcoin ETF. It's coming. This is why we champion technical analysis so much, guys, because it will ultimately allow you to ignore the noise and follow technically what's going on. And when you take a look technically at Bitcoin, it looks superb. I think this was just a big flush out. I think that oftentimes, you know, we saw this with Cointelegraph with that post. Um, we also saw it with potentially now Matrix Port. I think in certain areas, you do have crossovers with the traditional financial space, which is looking to get into Bitcoin. And I'm not accusing them of this. And, um, you know, some of these sort of crypto platforms, you know, if you understand media and how they basically control you guys through media, and we're very passionate about bringing these issues up, um, there could be a number of things going on. And ultimately, this could just be manipulation for people to load up 
on Bitcoin before the approval of a spot ETF and, and, and the inevitable journey that we, we, we think we're coming to. So let's go over to Bitcoin now. We've spoken about it quite a lot, but not looked at a chart. Um, and let's just take a look at the chart. The chart looks fine. There's nothing wrong with this at all. So this is what we would define. So this is a stage one base. Stage analysis, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, is, in my opinion, the best way to technically look at a market. You know, it's what's allowed us to do very well last year and hopefully in, in, in the coming years, you know, um, and allowed us certainly to get out in 2022. Um, but ultimately, you know, this is potentially setting up for continuation. When you look at the kind of news flow that came out yesterday, it doesn't really match up with a price action. This is now an uptrending market for Bitcoin, not just Bitcoin, but the entire cryptocurrency market cap. This is one uh, beef that I have with the bears is the reasonings that they have are narratives on the economy and actually i don't even think they're well placed uh when you look at the charts not just crypto you know yesterday with my patreons we uh analyzed loads of loads of stage two breakouts i'll share this with you quickly coinbase was one uh arcs kathy wood was one obviously this is bitcoin we had loads of little stocks that most people have uh, most definitely never heard of um, that had all broken out similar to the altcoin market remember this is smaller cap stocks that we're sort of paying attention to lots of them on the uh on their way um, and lots of the altcoins look like that so bitcoin technically you know even if we zoom in doesn't look bad at all um you potentially had a pattern that you broke out of you've came back in you've probably flushed a load of people out and now you're finding support and i think this actually sets up for more continuation although i would be more than happy and this is by the way all happening around an inverse head and shoulders target so a key level um we have said we would like to see bitcoin maybe push towards here and then set up some sort of a, an inverse head and shoulders that we can project, you know, 100 and something K from, but we're not there yet. So we're expecting continuation despite all this. We think the fundamental narrative that accompanied this sell off, I, I don't trust it that much. Uh, and I think this could be a flush out and could be some sort of an institutional game taking place. On the topic of altcoins, I want to bring up Engine. Now, this was uh, something that I looked at yesterday in um, one of the meetings that I do with the Patreons. Because a lot of people are very interested in, in engine it's done very very well you are here ladies and gentlemen for your altcoins beautiful beautiful and i want to take a bit of time on this let's just see how we're doing for time because i don't want to make this video too long um because i do have a habit to ramble i am trying to um not cut the rambling out but do rambling in in specific videos so these ones are really about making sure you guys know what's happening with the markets from a uh, perhaps news flow and also a fundamental, uh, a technical flow. Um, but you can see beautiful double bottom here. You break. Let's get some volume on here. Because remember, you want to see volume on a break. Which you didn't really see here, to be, to be quite honest. Um, this is Binance, so I don't know what the main exchange for engine would be. Okay. Um, let's just let's just stick with Binance. So not spectacular volume, but elevated, which is good. Most of your altcoins are here, ladies and gentlemen. Downtrend, breakout, run into resistance, have a pullback, like we've seen. If we pull up the likes of Polkadot now, which we'll probably do over here, so that we can keep that chart. You know, you've got your double bottom. Let's go on to a weekly time frame. You had a bullish divergence going into this. You break and then you come back and retest before you see what is likely going to be something similar to what Engine has done uh, and, and, and new all-time highs being taken. That is honestly the road that I think we are on. I think Engine is a great schematic of where the cryptocurrency market is going. You know, it's a good blueprint. Um, and essentially, your altcoins are just a little bit further. Um, you know, they, they're at this point here of breakout they've had a run they've broken out they're now coming back there's news that's accompanied that the cryptocurrency market got hit very hard and now they're going to start to see those next legs of continuation uh, and it may take a little bit of time to congest to set up uh, but ultimately we'll get there and there'll be lots of fear probably fomo the, 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 the interesting thing about the market with where it is is it's still in a very fearful state although people are bullish any pullback gets massively over amplified, certainly when it's news like what we saw yesterday, which I, I think is largely unfounded, but it's not just 
DOT that looks similar to Engine, it's the majority of the altcoins. I mean, this is HBAR. No idea what I was drawing there. You can see this is basically at the same place um, the Engine was down here, and you're going to see this upside continuation for, for, for many and many of these projects. And we covered loads of projects on the channel, um, things like Filecoin, things like Avalanche, you know, even things like Cardano. Breakout, a little bit of consolidation in the exact same manner that you did it here. And it's not just the likes of Engine, it's stocks that do a similar thing. Look at what happened when you broke out of this. You congest before you then see that next leg up of continuation. You know, even there's no reason to be bearish on the markets at all. The stock market is at resistance. There's no doubt about that. Expect it to be resistance. It's going to cause a bit of a headwind. But ultimately, the overall direction we think is uh, up for the markets. And we did look at that in yesterday's video in a lot more detail. Even gold got smashed yesterday. So there was a, a, quite a, a, I would say, negative macro backdrop um, that accompanied, certainly on the day, the news that we saw. Uh, so nothing to worry about. I think Engine is a, a, a really good schematic for where the crypto space is actually going, where many of these altcoins are heading, you know, the path forwards for them, because they're moving in a very similar manner to Engine before it went on and put in new all-time highs. They've broken out of what is a double bottom on some, head and shoulders on the likes of Bitcoin, into what we call a stage two, uh, and now they're likely going to see that further continuation. So that's very much what we're expecting. Do not fear, all in crypto is here. Learn to do technical analysis. If you want to get on board with the Patreon, I can certainly help you do that. Um, and a lot of these news events will just, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll know from a technical point of view when to panic, not when something like Matrix Port leaking that um, uh, the SEC is going to reject the Bitcoin spot ETFs comes out and everyone panics as a result of it. You know, it, it, it's, I think this is a blessing in some ways because a lot of people get very giddy with crypto, certainly when they see it doing the moves that we've seen. However, this brings you back to reality and says, look, this stuff is risky. You know, there's a lot more risk attached with crypto. There's a lot more volatility that's attached with it. And can you handle that? And hopefully if you follow this channel, you can. On that note, I am going to love and leave you. If you have enjoyed this content, a like is always appreciated. So as a comment, have a fantastic Thursday, guys. And we'll see you in the evening. Thank you very much. See you in the next one.